Hey folks, welcome to JS Cafe. Hope you are doing extremely well. In this video, we are going to talk about how to handle work-life balance, the things that I have learned so far about corporate life. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Learn to say no. When I started with my full-time job, I had no idea on how to handle work-life balance and I was very shy to say no to any task. As a result of this, I always felt overburdened and I often found myself heavily occupied compared to the rest of the folks in my team. Then I realized the power of word no. There is absolutely no harm in saying no to tasks or work which you feel might overburden you or might give you a burnout. You should always have a clear realization of the amount of work that you can take up in a day and you should always try to stay in that limit and avoid any breach. But be careful when you say no. Remember, you always have the option to deprioritize the current task you are doing and start a high priority task at the moment. Always try to keep your feet in a single boat. Respect your boundaries. You should always set boundaries between personal life and work. If you have set a time for your work, let's say, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., then be strict about that timeline and clearly communicate this to your team. You cannot expect others to respect your boundaries unless you start taking it seriously. I was very shy at first to say these things, but over the course of time, these things started to hamper my mental health and I always felt tired. So, there is no harm in communicating these things to your team members. Yes, but do remember, it is also fine to break this boundary once or twice in a month and this should be your threshold. If you find yourself consistently breaking the boundary, then you are doing it wrong. Live your weekend. Try to live your weekend. If you are studying or doing some work on weekend, then you are not giving your mind and body a proper rest. Avoid things that you usually do on weekday and just relax. Take Saturday and Sunday as a recharge day. And if you keep yourself busy on weekend, then my friend, you will burn out for sure on Monday and it will be forever. So it is important to relax on weekends. Health first mindset. You must always find time to look after your health. A healthy mind can only reside inside a healthy body. So it is important to perform a regular workout and have a healthy diet. Avoid junk food on weekdays and eat good food. You will notice drastic improvement in your work speed. Take breaks. Taking regular breaks during the day can help you reduce stress and increase productivity. It is also important to take vacations when you need them. Communicate. Keep open lines of communication with your colleagues and supervisors. This will ensure that everyone is on the same page and that any issues can be dealt with quickly and efficiently. So these were all uh, my learnings from my corporate life that I shared with you all. And if you have any uh, suggestions or if you want to share your uh, learnings so far, feel free to post them in the comments. I'll be happy, happy to read them. And yeah, if you are new to this channel, subscribe to JS Cafe. We are close to getting 5k subscribers and it would be a big event for sure. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for your love and affection. I am looking forward to shoot more exciting videos for you all. Um, yeah, and this was all in this video. Till then, take care. Goodbye. See you in the next one.